Hello friends. In this session, we are going to continue our discussion on uh, fundamental theorem of arithmetic and we will see how we arrive at prime factorization of any composite number. So we are doing this uh, through a problem and the problem says express each of the following positive integers as the product of its prime factors. Okay, so two composite numbers are given. One is 168 and 234. Clearly both are composite without any doubt. Why? Because both are even numbers and even numbers are always composite number except the number 2. Okay, so how to go about it? So we use a branched tree structure for factorization. So this is how you should do it. So let us say 168. We are trying to solve problem number 1. And we are going to express 168 in forms of in form of product of prime factor prime factors. So how to start? Let us say it is clearly an even number. So let us divide this by two, and you represent like this. So when I take two here, so hence what will be the quotient? Quotient will be 84. So two times 84 is 168. Like that, you have to see. Now obviously you cannot uh, two is the prime factor, so hence you cannot really uh factorize it further so let's factorize 84 further so clearly it is 2 times 42 correct again continuing you will see it is 2 times 21 so if you see what are, what am i doing so 2 into 84 is 168 i am representing it as a you know uh, as a branch tree structure and every time i get another composite number i try to factorize it further so 2 times 21 is the last thing which we got. Let us take it further up and now. Yes. So 21 clearly is now 3 times 7. Now see, can I go further down? I cannot really factorize 7 because this is already a prime number. So this is prime number. Prime number. All the all the numbers which we got by factorization process here the last step the last row all are prime numbers so 2 is a prime 2 is again a prime this 2 is also prime 3 is prime and 7 is prime so hence how do we represent 168 now so 168 is simply 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 7 so just write down all the prime factors which you got so this is how I got the fundamental theorem of arithmetic or I established fundamental theorem of arithmetic that every composite number can be expressed uniquely as product of prime factors. So this is 2 to the power 3 into 3 to the power 1 and into 7 to the power 1. In fact, if you generalize it, all the prime factors or prime numbers which are there can be used to represent 168. How do I and why do I say this is because of this. So 168 could be written as 2 to the power 3 into 3 to the power 1 into 7 to the power 1 into what are missing. Let's say 5 is missing. So I can always say 5 to the power 0 because anything, any non-zero uh, number to the power 0 is 1. Similarly, 11 to the power 0, then 13 to the power 0 into all the primes which are there it's a pr to the power zero and so on and so forth so all the prime factors can be used to represent any composite number so hence we got we got the canonical form so if you remember in the last session we saw this particular form is also called canonical form canonical representation or canonic canonical form representation Okay, canonical representation of 168. Now let us go to the next problem. And the next problem is, next problem is 234, right? So we have to take 234. So let me, let me do the prime factorization of 234. So this is B, 2, 3, 4. Clearly it's an even number. The best would be uh, that you start with as big factor as possible, but for convenience sake, let's say 2. We start with 2. So 1, 1, 7. Isn't it? So if you see, it is 1, 1, 7. Now, clearly 1, 1, 7 is divisible by 3. So if you see, 3 times 39 is 1, 1, 7. Now, 39 again can be divided as or factored as 3 times 13. 
right? Now, if you see all are all the factors which we got the last row, so you can you know um, you can just encircle that. So if you see this, this is what we are looking for. So so I can represent two thirty four. 234 is equal to 2 times 3 times 3 times 13. That is 2 times 2 to the power 1 into 3 to the power 2 into 13 to the power 1. So this is the canonical form. Again, canonical representation. Okay, canonical representation. So 234 could be expressed like this. Now, other part of the fundamental theorem says that it is unique. You cannot really fit in any other any other prime factor here. So neither 7, nor 5, nor 11, nor 90, nothing. No, none other than 2, 3, and 13 would be the uh, would be participating in the prime factorization. We'll see the proof of this uh, fundamental theorem of arithmetic in the coming sessions. And uh, Euclid gave the initial proof, which was again uh, proven by Carl Frederick Gauss in 19th century. So in the coming few sessions, we'll also look, look at the proof of the theorem. Thanks for watching this video.